when it was about 51 murders in this city. And Bishop said, we're going to do something about it. We're going to hit the street. And she said, come up here, Elder Langford. I'm putting you to work. Well, after that, we organized Healthy Oakland into a nonprofit. Um, her and I have co-founded Healthy Oakland, which is now Healthy Communities. Uh, I feel Healthy Oakland is a very, very uh, wonderful program for our community, especially here in East Oakland. We're working with, uh, you know, people that are endeavoring to better their lives and so Healthy Oakland focuses in on your health uh, mentally, physically, uh, spiritually, and emotionally. Certain populations in our county have disproportionately bad access to preventive and primary care resources. And the reentry population is among the greatest, has, has among the greatest unmet need uh, for the traditional primary and preventative care services that are critical for any. Um, healthy existence in Alameda County. Well, our partnership with Healthy Communities on, is, uh, and now Healthy Oakland is on many levels. Um, uh, it really began as a collaboration and focused on really on the social determinants of health, looking at those aspects of um, healthy decision making and environmental determinants that we could impact through education, advocacy, um, and outreach. We have many, many, many men and women who come into the Oakland community, particularly this West Oakland community, and have had no uh, support or uh, guidance or love uh, to help them make a transition from being longtime inmates to being functioning citizens in our community. And uh, primary among those right now are a, an anger management program which is offered here. Um, I, think, uh, I think that uh, we desperately need to uh, improve the opportunity for men and women who are coming out of prisons and coming back into our community. Well, thank you, Pastor Langford, first of all, for your leadership, your hard work, but of course, most importantly, for your prayers. Let me also uh, thank Bishop Reeves, and let me say how honored it is once again to be in your presence and to be with you as one of your dreams become <laughs> true and become real. You know, it's very seldom we have a chance to witness the planting of a seed, a dream that's being discussed, and then see it come to fruition. We have a passion for our people, for African Americans, African American men, women, and children. And there is a great need for ethnic sensitivity for those who understand that there are differences in the health of African Americans. We make up 12% of the population, but we represent 25% of the deaths. If we don't focus on our people, we are going to continue to be a statistic that is not good. So here we focus on our people and we intend to have the outcomes change and to improve the health and well-being of those who really need it and are underserved, those who are uninsured, underinsured. Uh, that's really uh, our major goal. Yes, we are a faith-based organization but we're not here to cram the Bible down your throat. We're here to make sure that you're healthy, both physically and mentally. And then if you want to go spiritually, then we can go there as well. But our primary focus is physical and mental health. Everybody needs some type of help with some type of health, whether it be physical health, mental health, or even spiritual health. Um, when you see someone sitting at the bus stop laughing at themselves and there's nothing around that you can think of that would make them laugh, that's because they've retreated inside because it's a much kinder place inside their mind than it is in the real world. Healthy Oakland is a beacon light in the community, a community that people have said is down in the mud 
and degradation of drugs, of crime, poor education and abuse, uh, anger. Healthy Oakland stands as a, as, a, as a lotus that grows from the mud. It stands for hope and the fact that Reverend Lankford and Arnold Perkins and Dr. Watson and Bishop Reams have given so much to bring this clinic, this resource to our community, Oakland is the better for it. What appeals to me most about healthy communities is the commitment to the community. Um, and I know that sounds simple, but it's the fact that they really do put their heart into the work and they have a commitment to serving people in a very respectful way that values and, and validates the experience that folks have had out here on the streets. It's not easy. And um, Healthy Communities has positioned itself to serve those clients that are the least likely to be served by any other clinic and those that, you know, are the hardest to serve. I mean, um, they've made preventative health care and taking care of self and family a real priority and they express that in the way that the staff carries itself and the way that the board responds and the way that the director provides leadership. So I think there is just a very holistic approach to being here for the community and having that commitment to improving individual lives as well as the community as a whole here, particularly in West Oakland, but I think Alameda County and beyond is the future goal. Because you can come in here, it's not just like we're giving medical advice, we give good advice, advice on life, living, the streets. All the staff here are like equipped in certain areas, so it's good, we don't have to send you out too far. I can just walk in this room and get this person for this thing, or I can walk next door and get John or somebody for something else. It's not like I have to send you to this long list and we lose patients, we don't, because it's all within this circle. We do have a good atmosphere because um, everybody comes here comes from a different background and they're not afraid to share it with the patients. We're not just pushing here, take this medicine, take this, it's gonna cure you. We're gonna tell you why. And if you don't take it, what's gonna be the consequences? I would say that look at what's being done. Look at the growth and look at, uh, look at the trajectory. Um, this is a new clinic. I've worked with a lot of different clinics. Some of them have been around for 30, 40 years. Um, this is a new clinic as a baby in the grand scheme of things. Uh, but, but watch it as a rising star because it has been here in the community, understands the needs of the community, understands what, and doesn't just see everybody as a patient or a Medi-Cal visit. This is something that, that Healthy Oakland has taken on, and, and that's, that is what we're doing. So it will continue to grow, will continue to expand, and I think those that care about uh, safety uh, on the streets, that care about the health of the community, that care about basically having a community that's suitable for our children to grow up in, where they're not constantly being traumatized and where we are cognizant of the things that they're being exposed to and how we can uh, make the community healthier. Anyone who's, who is concerned about these things, I think needs to keep an eye on Healthy Oakland and watch as they become one of the few that's really out here trying to provide a much needed service.